Yo, what's up, gamers? How are you? Today is Sunday. We are back with another blockchain gaming digest. This time is for 5 to 11th of October 2020. So here is the digest written by my good friend Costas and presented by me. Let's begin with the first news, which is the NFT Awards. It's the first annual NFT Awards. Nominations are open for the first annual NFT Awards and anyone can nominate a non-fungible token across 10 different categories. Let's have a look. So this is the article that we shared on eGamers. Uh, there are 10 categories. It is the NFT of the year, people's choice, adoption potential, most innovative, most valuable, gaming, charity, art, utility, and most traded. There will be some uh, great judges, uh, Sony's former CEO, there will be from Ubisoft, Microsoft, and a bunch of others from uh, the blockchain gaming industry and the NFT in general. So guys, check out the website. Uh, this is the one. And go nominate a non-fungible token. 9 of December. Tell me, tell, tell me in the comments, what, what are you going to nominate? Do you have anything particular in mind? A great non-fungible token? Just let me know. Okay, let's move forward. So, Emoji Bulls pay the wave after Nifty Emoji exit scam. Exit scam. Exit scam. That's bad. They left with what? One million dollars? Unfortunately, we experienced another exit scam in the NFT space. Nifty Emoji, a non fungible token oriented project that did exceptionally well, exit scam, and now the website is down, as well as all of their social media accounts. Furthermore, the developers dumped their tokens on the market. The estimated value of this exit scam is one million dollars. That's a freaking million, guys. Guys, so check this out. There are going to be some uh, great projects with a lot of buzz. Uh, many influencers are going to promote them just like it happened this time. And this has happened before. And it's happening all the time, especially in the blockchain gaming space where 99% of games are by indie developers who either can't sustain the development of the game or they just don't care and they are in it for the money, your money. So my advice is always, always triple research. Who's the guys behind the project? Search for them. Do they have a, a past uh, success record? What are they doing? Guys, don't spend your money in any project that makes it into your feed. Please don't spend your valuable money. Please don't lose money. Some people bought uh, Nifty Mojis for over $1,000. That, that's insane, right? That's insane. And the, the good things, the good thing out of this story is that uh, Emoji Bulls will compen compensate in a way the MEXP token holders. So if you have MEXP, here is a tweet from Emojibles. This is the one. You can comment here and they will trade your MEXP tokens for Emojible points, so you can basically buy emojibles. Uh, keep in mind that emojibles, let me see if we can see their website, um, is a legit project. It's powered by the DAT platform of the reality gaming group. They are also developing uh, a licensed game, Doctor Who. This one is also licensed by emojibles. And you can see here, you can buy packs with emoji bulls. I mean, this game is legit. Oh, and we made it here. Okay. 
Nice. <laughs> this project is legit, guys. I mean, okay. Be safe, please. Please be careful. Let's move on. Let's move on. Next up, Blue Spree Alpha. Um, you can watch the video on, on this YouTube channel. It's the previous video I played for around 10-15 minutes. Uh, it, uh, only the only the owners of the founders token can play uh, Nestables right now. It's closed pre-alpha, but uh, it is a great game. A great okay. A great is an overestimated uh, word, but it's a it's a great game to play and have fun. Hopefully, when it's uh, released. It's going to be much more interesting. Let me show you the video here. As you can see, you can craft some things. Maybe I can open the audio a bit. No, I won't because I'm talking. As you can see, you can craft, you can place your cube to sleep. You can do a lot of things. I always believe that this game has potentials to bring younger ages in the blockchain gaming space. Now all is left is to see. Obviously it needs a lot of development. Here the cube is taking a bath. Okay. So uh, Nesta Boss is an engine powered game. It uses the ERC-1155 token standard and it's part of the gaming multiverse. The gaming multiverse is an engine initiative with uh, interconnected games, please. It's the, the, that's a great story. It's the first the first project with interconnecting games. As you can see here in eGamers, we have a list with multiverse items and multiverse games. It's a bit outdated, but we are working on a new website and it will be updated soon. The solution, which is not anymore, in the... there's a video missing here. Yeah. That's pretty much all. Okay, now let's move on to the next news, which is Chain Games to release competitive video games implementation. Hmm. So Chain Games is the company behind Super Crypto Card. Have you tried this one? I did. It's good. Okay. So, Chain Games released competitive video games implementation starting with Call of Duty Modern Warfare and plans for more mainstream games to follow. Users will be able to play Call of Duty, compete on Battle Royale and multiplayer battles while earning chain rewards based on the performance measured in kills achieved, point gathered, wins and more. So basically, this sounds to me like a wager system. Um, if you are familiar with uh, Arena Match, which unfortunately it's not around us anymore, players basically place a bet on their skills and play. This is pretty much gambling for me. You, you may gamble on your own skills, but it's still gambling, right? Now, all is left is to wait and see how they will implement this. Let's move on. This new MMORPG sells five citadels for $1.36 million each. Now, what I was telling you before, be safe where you spend your money. I'm not sure if any one of you is going to spend $1 million for a land plot. <laughs> it's not any land plot, but anyway, uh, you should know that these land plots are still in discount, so they cost a bit more uh, than five, $500,000. So the game is called Mirandus, okay? In brief, Gala Games present the second game of its ecosystem, Mirandus. Townstar is the first one. Mirandus is an MMORPG based game with land ownership. Land deeds are extremely rare and the top ones are selling for over one million USD. You can buy land with um, about 100 bucks. I think there are some lands left. These are the lands here. So the, the image is a bit small, but if you sit down here to where, where I 
place the mouse, the point it's Homestad, which cost 62.5k gala, but was the discounted price. So now it costs uh, 125 and it's about 100 USD. All, all, all the land plots are 1,615. That's all the land plots in existence in this game. It's made by Eric Schmeier, who is co-founder of Zynga, with lots of experience in simulation games, farming especially, and all that stuff. And many other great people are on board in other games. So you might want to check this out. I'm not telling you to go spend half a million dollars. <laughs> Just check this out. You can play Townstar for free. You know, if you go on eGamers, you can find a lot of information about them. Now, two more news, two more news and bye bye guys. Smite is universe, okay. You guys know Smite is? I didn't, I didn't until recently. Reality Gaming Group, the guys behind the modules, partners with Herotainment to bring Smite is universe on the blockchain. Smite is are also a TV series since 2019. And to begin with, there will be 136 Dynstick Smiteys. You can you can read the article to get more information about Smiteys. Um, I'm not sure yet about the gameplay or how is this going to be. Although what I can tell you for sure, this is a licensed game. It's a licensed game from a reliable company. Oh, no BitConnect here, probably. Now, okay guys, War of Alts on iOS, the engine powered multiverse mobile game War of Alts made it through the app review, the Apple's review and released the iOS version. This is the article of War of Alts joining the engine ecosystem. War of Alts is an upcoming mobile game joining the engine multiverse Beta testers can sign up through the Telegram group and receive early access. And the game will launch Q3 2020 and it's expected to be a play to earn game. Now, I've tried the beta. Mm, it's good. Uh, yeah, that's all. You, you can see a small video here about the game. It's basically a mobile game. Graphics are not that much great. But uh, it, it can be a fun game for a lot of players. After all, graphics, it's not everything. Here's your ant queen. And you just have some mech ants. <laughs> it's kind of funny, right? Okay. So guys, that's all for um, today. Another Sunday. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Like uh, I'm telling you every time, I'm all about value. Guys, please subscribe. Leave a comment. That's the only way uh, we can be pushed in the algorithm. Leave a comment. Tell me your question. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Tell me what you would like to see more in this show. And see you next Sunday, guys. Take care, be safe, wear your mask. See you.